Oompa Boompa. <laughs> It's a cold day, and Emma has gone to the park with her friend Leo. At the playground, there are two colored tubes far away from each other. Emma speaks into one of them, and Leo puts his ear to the other tube and hears his friend's voice. How is it possible that they can hear each other so clearly from so far away? It makes Emma very curious, so she stands on her tiptoes and peeks into the tube. Which magically grows larger, and whoa! whoa! Emma falls down the tube and lands somewhere else. It looks like a workshop. There are people focusing on pieces of metal, wood, and there's a man working on something that looks like a trumpet. Hi, sir. I'm Emma. Could you tell me where we are? Hi, Emma. I'm Thomas Edison, and we're in my invention factory in New Jersey, in the United States. Inventions? How fun! A space car? A, a robot? A drone? A what? <laughs> Emma, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds very interesting. I'm trying to invent a device that records sounds so they can be listened to again. When Thomas Edison was a child, his mother taught him to read, and by nine years old, he was already reading novels. At the age of twelve, he was selling the newspaper on the train, and when it made a long stop in a city named Detroit, he went to the library to read. It was in an empty train car that he began to perform experiments that he got from science books. Well, Emma, I think this is how the invention should work. Do you want us to try it out together? Can you say something to see if it records, and then we can play it back? Oh, sure. If you never try, then you'll never know. What is this invention called? It's called a phonograph. Are you ready? Can I sing a song? Yes, of course. All that noise. All that sound, all those places I got found. Beautiful, Emma. Okay, let's see. It works, Thomas. Oh, finally! I can't believe it. It's so exciting to see it work. It is, Emma. But believe it or not, I've never done a day's work in my life. It is all fun. Some of the inventors start putting away the materials they were working with. The invention factory gets dark. Hopefully, I can develop my invention soon and not have to resort to those lanterns that go out and are very uncomfortable. What have you thought of? What are you going to invent, Emma? I find out what the world needs. Then I go ahead and try to invent it. There are already inventors working on an electric light bulb. The problem is that the filament burns out. I'm doing some tests to find a filament that lights up and doesn't burn out. I know that you'll succeed, and that in the future we'll be able to light up everything, even the Christmas trees. Wow, that would be really beautiful, Emma. I hope I'm the one to make it happen. I'm sure you will be. Thomas Edison's invention factory is almost empty. It's time for Emma to go home. Goodbye, Thomas. It has been very inspiring meeting you. Talking to you has lit up lots of idea light bulbs in my head. <laughs> Goodbye, Emma. May those light bulbs never go out. Thomas Edison was born in 1847 in the United States. He was an inventor and a scientist. He invented the phonograph, the movie camera. And the incandescent light bulb. Edison created the first industrial research laboratory. Curious and brave people, clever and passionate people. There are people who changed the history of the world, and Thomas Edison was one of them. Hi, listeners. 
We hope you enjoyed this podcast and learned something new today. Follow us on Instagram at Papumba and share with us what other stories you love to hear. See you next time.